South Africa's Ramaphosa urges Russia Ukraine to de escalate. Tunisia's opposition leader questioned by counter terrorism pros prosecutor. The world must prevent another humanitarian disaster in Darfur. South Africa's president on Friday called on Ukraine and Russia to de escalate the war shortly after his arrival with Senegal's, Zambia's, and Morocco, Mo Comoros' presidents. The leaders went to Butcher, a suburb of Ukraine's capital, where the Russia army is accused of killing civilians in 2022. An air raid in Kiev during Syria Ramaphosa's visit provided a reminder of the challenges they face. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky ruled out talks with Russia as he met with the delegation. Senior officials from Uganda, Egypt, and the Congo are also part of the delegation. They will head to Moscow on Saturday. The leader of Tunisia's main opposition bloc has attended the office of the counterterrorism prosecutor in the capital Tunis to answer charges of plotting against state security. Ahmed Nejib Chebi, the leader of the National Salvation Front, had previously accused the government of dividing Tunisians and destroying all the institutions. The current government is dividing Tunisians, pitting them against each other, and after destroying all the institutions, it is now attacking the rights and freedoms of Tunisian citizens, accused Ahmed Najib Tebi, leader of the National Salvation Front. Darfur, where the population is living through a nightmare after weeks of war in Sudan, is heading towards a new humanitarian disaster that the world must prevent. The UN is the head of humanitarian affairs, Martin Griffiths, predicted on Thursday. Darfur is rapidly heading towards a humanitarian disaster. The world cannot allow this to happen, not again, he said in a statement. Even though the region was the scene of a war in the early 2000s that left around 300,000 people dead. As the conflict in Sudan enters its third month, the humanitarian situation across the country continues to deteriorate, he noted, referring to 1.7 million displa displaced people and half a million refugees, the looting of humanitarian supplies and the hundreds of deaths as a result of fighting between the army general Abdel Fattah al-Burhan and the paramilitary rapid support forces of General Mohammed Hamdan. The Garo. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.